Hi, I'm Doc. Hi everybody, I'm Russ. And this is Seaside Online, the Week in Review. This is our last show of the season. And for those who may not know, this is our fifth year. And we've been at it for quite some time. Uh, we actually started probably two years prior. And the show was called the Doc and Russ Show. And we did it sitting with a garbage can in between Russ and I. The first show, uh, we reflected on, uh, uh, what's that golfer's name, Russ? Uh, uh, the guy that had, the golfer that had the 12 women and all. Uh, uh, oh, come on, Frank. Tiger Woods. Tiger, Tiger Woods, Tiger right, Woods. right. We concentrated on Tiger Woods and there was an article in the paper about his 12 women and we kind of talked about that and that was the beginnings. And then it gradually graduated to uh, Seaside Online and then we moved in front of the Tiki Bar. But Russ is my neighbor, and Russ's neighbor is Frankie T. Frankie T. Hi. So uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of history. I think the mayor wants to move next to us too, doesn't he? <laughs> I think you want to move next to me? Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah, I think that's what it is. And uh, Russ? Yes, Would you like to get down and do uh, Babes on the Beach? Oh, you know I love to do the Babes All on the right, Beach. Alright, Russ, go ahead, I'll let you out of here. Oh, give, give me that mic, I gotta have the mic to do All it. Alright, take it with you. Alright, let's do it. Are you there, Russ? Yeah, I'm here! What a beauty I got! Take it away! Hi everybody, we're out here on, I think, 2nd Avenue? 2nd Avenue. 2nd Avenue, okay, and Seaside. And uh, the weather is beautiful, sunny, sh no clouds at all to worry about. Uh, red flag is up, but you let you get a little wet, and that's it. And I found this young lady on the beach. Hey, what's your name? Rachel. Rachel. Okay, yeah. where are you from? I'm from Richfield, New Jersey. Richfield. Yeah. Very nice place to come from. Yes. Very good. Yes. Married, single, oh, dating. I'm single. Yeah. She's Always she's one. single. Yeah. She's my type. <laughs> Okay, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a student right now. A student, where? Yeah, uh, at Kane University. Kane, all right. Mm -hmm. What year? I'm a junior. Junior? Yeah. What are we studying? Biology. Biology. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, anything else we should know? Uh, I'm not too interesting. I'm here with my 20 people in our condo, my 20, whole family. 20 so people. We always come down to Seaside. We love it here. How long are you down for? Uh, I was just here for the day, but we have a condo and we've been, I think we've owned the condo for over 30, 40 years. So nice. Very cool. nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Whereabouts the condo? It's on First Avenue. First Avenue? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Just a block away. Um, that's the one on the corner? What? Uh, a little further, the blue one. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Oh, the blue one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I used to have a place in the white one. Uh, Sands Point, I think they used oh, to call yeah. it. Oh, uh yeah. -huh. Right across from the windjammer. Yes, that's where we are. Yeah. Oh, it's the blue one now. Yeah. Okay, that's blue. good. Mm -hmm. My room was number 12. Downstairs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Um, okay, um, very attractive lady. I like your bathing suit. Thank you. Could you give us a twirl so we can see the whole bathing suit? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Put your arms up. There you go. That's it. Isn't that nice, Doc? She's a lovely young lady. Glad yeah. she found us. <laughs> See how easy that was? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was the best. All right, Russ, you did it again. I hope so. Yeah, very nice lady. Yep, you did a great job. And uh, last week we had mentioned that uh, Doug Madey would be on to uh, discuss his 365-day uh, dip in the ocean. And uh, Doug is here. Doug, without any further ado, come on in. Have a seat. Come on, Doug. How are you? Just tell us what you did, how you did it. I started out last se September 1st. I walked into the ocean. Um, I just wanted to, I never liked when the summers ended when I was young. And I wanted to make it into an endless summer. And it started out as a lark. And then as I progressed, I decided I was going to do it for 365 days and I was going to go into the ocean every day just in my bathing suit and try to get fully submerged and do it for a full year and as I went along it just seemed to walk hand in hand with the ice bucket challenge for ALS 
Um, in late December, I got involved with a great group up in Monmouth County who does home care for people with um, ALS. Um, they do, they bring them equipment, mental support, nursing support, and I started to support their cause, and I got quite a few people that contributed uh, to my daily jumping in with good, donations good, good. for the group. Good. And you did 365 days. I did 365. Uh, the winter started out mild in December, and I was joking around about it that I thought God was on my side keeping the winters of winter away, but <laughs> I guess he didn't stay he fixed with it for you. He fixed he? it for me. Yeah. It turned very dramatically, and it turned into a, probably one of the worst winters we've had. So it got real rough in January, February, and March. But uh, I continued on, and I got to day 365 uh, this past Monday. You're still swimming, though. <laughs> I'm still swimming, but I'm not so sure that I'm going to do... I'm, in fact, I know I'm not going to do another year, but the water has been so beautiful that I haven't be able, been able to stop. Oh, so 365 plus another five, that's 370 days 370. so far? 370. Maybe I'll take it a little further. All right. Doug's <laughs> official announcement that he's not going to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, officially, he's not going to do it. <laughs> but he's going to do it. He's not going to do it. <laughs> It's, it's a mystery. That's it's, it's he a is, top but he secret. Isn't. <laughs> or he isn't, but he is. He doesn't know himself yet. <laughs> okay, Doug. Thank well, you. thank you very much. It was great uh, to hear from you and see you. Thank and you for you, inviting me. I appreciate you did a it. Great, great job. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks to Doug Maday. And. Uh, this week, the mayor made the official announcement of the Wi-Fi on the beach, and uh, we shot a little bit of film of that announcement, and you can take a look. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for attending. Uh, this will be a brief but most interesting and unique announcement. Um, I, with me is uh, Council President Mike Tierney and uh, Borough Administrator uh, Bob Martucci. And I'd like to uh, also recognize Dana Lasalento, the Director of Tourism for Ocean County, who's also here. My question is this. So what does, or what do many beachgoers who were here yesterday in Seaside Park know now about Seaside Park beaches? The answer is that they had access to the internet while enjoying a great beach experience. Now the best maintained, best protected, beach on the Jersey Shore is technologically advanced and friendly. Wi-Fi access now extends the entire 1.6 miles of beachfront. Connected Seaside Park, New Jersey's first entire length free Wi-Fi beach. great, Russ, that there's Wi-Fi on the beach, and yes. it's going to be all throughout the town, according to the mayor, so that's uh, that's really good. Is and that what he said? That's what he said. Okay. And with that, we'll Thank uh, you, fellas, and uh, the, the Wi-Fi was just uh, one of the good reasons to uh, enjoy Seaside Park and use this as your uh, vacation destination or a great a great destination just to go to the beach. It's a great, great uh, summer that we had, and one of the reasons that we've, we had that great summer is because of all the different activities that are programmed in on Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the whole week. And the vehicle for announcing those has always been Seaside Online. And I want to be here to make sure that everyone realizes my appreciation and our town's appreciation to Seaside Online for the great work that they've done over the course of this summer and previous summers of announcing all the activities that people can enjoy. So we look forward to uh, 2016 next year and we hope you'll be with us. Russ? Yeah? Uh, maybe you could do a beach report? You could do it right from here, Russ. Oh, okay. Uh, the beach has been fantastic. I, I think the beach today uh, has been great. We've had some uh, red flag days, but uh, right now I see a lot of people are in the water. The water is nice and warm. It's a little breezy, but it's, it's a beautiful day to be on the beach. And uh, I think the people are enjoying it. The temperature is uh, low 80s, mid 80s, and the sun is shining. There is no, there isn't a cloud in the sky. And that's my kind of weather. Okay? 
All right, Russ, thank you. And uh, the Arts and Crafts Show, was, which is always the highlight of Labor Day weekend, took place. And last week on the show, we showed you the mayor by the Arts and Crafts sign on the site of the show. And uh, here's a couple of pictures of uh, the show in progress with that sign and uh, all the tents and all the activity that's going on behind it. And uh, it wouldn't be a complete late Labor Day show without uh, Frankie T and the joke of the week. I'm going to pass the mic to Frankie. Frankie T with the joke of the week. Do you hear about this horse who walks into the bar and the bartender walks up to him and says, why the long face? Do you hear about the polar bear walks into the bar, sits down, the bartender walks up to him and says, what will it be? The polar bear says, I'll have a gin and tonic. The bartender says, what's with the big paws? The polar bear says, I don't know, my father had them too. You hear about the baby seal who walks into the bar, sits down, bartender says, what'll it be? The baby seal says, well, I'll have anything except the Canadian club. You hear about the Scotsman who walks into the bar with a steering wheel sticking out of his kilt. The bartender says, hey, Scotty, doesn't that bother you to have a steering wheel sticking out of your kilt? Aye, he says, Scotty, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> All right, Frank was on target again. Uh, and... Uh, we had the uh, you asked for it section of the show and we did have another question come in from one of our uh, viewers uh, Jeremy Sh uh, Shuck had asked us if uh, Lucky Leo's Arcade was ever going to open we put a phone call into Mike uh, Groshen who was the owner of Lucky Leo's and uh, Mike has not gotten back to us we left a message he hasn't gotten back to us the next step basically is to send uh, Vinny the Chin to his door and to knock on the door and see if he can get an answer. Now, because this is our last show, that won't happen until next year. So, but you get you asked for it and you got it, Jeremy. And we're gonna close the show with our deep thought. And if a child who can't speak, he signs a curse word, does his mother have to wash his hands? With that, have a great winter. I'm gonna wash your hands. I'll fix you. Take care, everybody. I'm Russ. I'm Frankie T. Have a great winter. See you in 2016.